Have you ever wondered how to make a lasting impact and be truly valued by those around you? Buddhism offers timeless wisdom that can transform the way we interact with the world. In this video, we will explore seven powerful Buddhist strategies that can help you become more valued to others. These teachings have guided countless individuals towards a life of compassion and respect. And now, it's your turn to discover these transformative practices. By integrating these seven strategies into your daily life, you will not only enrich your own experience, but also become a cherished presence in the lives of those around you. Embrace these teachings and watch as your relationships flourish with newfound depth and meaning. 1. Mindful Listening – The Art of Presence In a world bustling with noise and distraction, the art of mindful listening stands as a beacon of tranquility and understanding. It is a practice deeply rooted in Buddhist teachings, emphasizing the importance of being fully present with another person, offering them the gift of our undivided attention. When we engage in mindful listening, we do so with the intent to truly comprehend the speaker's message, to empathize with their emotions, and to understand their perspective without judgment. This form of listening goes beyond the mere act of hearing words. It involves an active and conscious effort to absorb the essence of what is being communicated. To listen mindfully, one must first clear the mind of preconceptions and distractions. It requires us to silence our inner dialogue, to set aside our personal agendas, and to refrain from formulating responses while the other person is speaking. This allows us to tune into the subtleties of the conversation, the tone, the pauses, the unspoken emotions. By practicing mindful listening, we honor the speaker and validate their experiences. This fosters a sense of respect and trust, paving the way for deeper connections. When others feel heard and understood, they are more likely to reciprocate, creating a cycle of positive communication. The benefits of mindful listening are manifold. It enhances our ability to connect with others on a meaningful level, improves our patience and concentration, and often leads to more effective problem solving. As we become better listeners, we also become more valued members of our communities, capable of offering support and wisdom when it's needed most. Incorporating mindful listening into daily life can be transformative. It begins with small, conscious choices, to listen more than we speak, to be patient, and to offer our presence as a sanctuary for others. As we practice, it becomes a natural part of who we are, reflecting the compassionate heart of Buddhist teachings. Mindful listening is not just a strategy. It is a way of being that enriches both the listener and the speaker. It is a path to genuine connection, a journey towards understanding, and a practice that makes us infinitely more valued by those around us. 2. Selfless Service The Path to Unconditional Giving In the heart of Buddhist philosophy lies the concept of selfless service, known as dana, which is the practice of giving without any desire for personal gain. This noble path is not just about performing acts of kindness, it's about cultivating a spirit of generosity that permeates every action. Selfless service is the act of helping others with a pure heart, expecting nothing in return, not even gratitude or recognition. It is giving for the sake of giving, serving for the sake of serving. This could manifest in various forms, from volunteering for community work to simply offering a listening ear to someone in need. The practice challenges our ego and self-centered tendencies by shifting the focus from I and mine to others and theirs. It is a transformative process that fosters empathy and compassion as we begin to see ourselves in others and recognize the interconnectedness of all beings. When we engage in selfless service, we create a ripple effect that extends far beyond the immediate act. It inspires others to act kindly, perpetuates a cycle of generosity, and builds a community grounded in mutual support and care. To cultivate selfless service, start small. Look for opportunities to assist those around you without seeking anything in return. Whether it's helping a neighbor or participating in a larger cause, every act of service contributes to a greater good. As we practice selfless service, we not only contribute to the well-being of others, but also experience a profound sense of fulfillment. 
This practice helps us transcend our limited self-identity and embrace a broader vision of life where we truly become more valued by others. In essence, selfless service is a journey towards self-transcendence. It is a commitment to live with an open heart, to give generously, and to serve selflessly. By walking this path, we embody the very values that make us indispensable to others and discover the joy of unconditional giving. 3. Compassionate Speech – The Power of Kind Words Compassionate speech is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice, reflecting the profound understanding that words have the power to heal or harm. It is the intentional use of language to uplift, support, and encourage others, embodying the principle of right speech from the Noble Eightfold Path. Compassionate speech involves speaking truthfully, harmoniously, and with a gentle tone. It means avoiding slander, gossip, and harsh language. Instead, it encourages us to find words that promote peace and understanding. By choosing our words carefully, we can create a positive impact on the lives of those around us. Compassionate speech can soothe tensions, resolve conflicts, and build bridges of empathy. It's about recognizing the emotional needs of others and responding with care and consideration. To practice compassionate speech, we must be mindful of our emotions and intentions before we speak. It requires self-awareness and the ability to pause and reflect. This might mean taking a moment to breathe and center ourselves, especially in moments of stress or anger. The ripple effect of compassionate speech is far-reaching. When we speak kindly, we encourage others to do the same, fostering an environment where everyone feels safe and valued. This not only strengthens our relationships, but also contributes to a more compassionate society. Compassionate speech has the transformational power to change hearts and minds. It can turn adversaries into allies and strangers into friends. By consistently practicing compassionate speech, we become a source of comfort and inspiration to others. In essence, compassionate speech is more than just a strategy. It is a way of life that reflects the heart of Buddhist teachings. It is a commitment to use our words as instruments of kindness, to speak with intention, and to be a voice of compassion in a world that often forgets the power of a gentle word. 4. Gratitude in Action Cultivating an Attitude of Thankfulness Gratitude in action is the active expression of thankfulness in our daily interactions. It's a fundamental Buddhist practice that encourages us to acknowledge the good in our lives and to extend that appreciation to others. True gratitude goes beyond mere words. It's a heartfelt recognition of the kindness and support we receive from others. It's about noticing the small gestures, the everyday sacrifices, and the unwavering support that often go unnoticed. Expressing gratitude openly means taking the time to say thank you and to show others that their efforts have made a difference. It's about giving credit where it's due and celebrating the contributions of others. Gratitude has a profound impact on our relationships. It creates a positive feedback loop, encouraging more kindness and generosity. When people feel appreciated, they're more likely to continue acting in ways that earn further gratitude. Making gratitude a daily practice can transform our outlook on life. It can be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal, sending thank you notes, or sharing a moment of appreciation with someone each day. The ripple effect of thankfulness is powerful. It fosters a culture of appreciation, where people feel valued and motivated. This not only strengthens existing relationships, but also attracts new connections built on mutual respect and gratitude. Living gratefully brings numerous benefits. It enhances our emotional well-being, reduces stress, and can even improve our physical health. It also makes us more valued by others, as gratitude is a universally admired trait. In essence, gratitude in action is about living with an open heart and an appreciative spirit. It's about recognizing the interconnectedness of all things and responding with a sincere thank you. By doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also become a source of joy and inspiration to those around us. 5. Patience in Adversity The Strength of Calm Endurance 
Patience in adversity is a virtue extolled in Buddhist teachings, reflecting the ability to maintain calmness and composure in the face of life's challenges. It is an inner strength that allows us to endure hardships with grace and dignity. In Buddhism, patience is not passive. It's an active and mindful acceptance of the present moment, regardless of the difficulties it may contain. It's about recognizing that adversity is a part of life and that our reactions to these challenges define our character. During difficult times, patience becomes a beacon of stability. It allows us to approach problems with a clear mind, free from the agitation and impulsiveness that often lead to poor decisions. Patience gives us the time to reflect, learn, and grow from our experiences. Cultivating patience requires practice. It begins with small acts of tolerance, waiting calmly in traffic, listening to a long-winded story without interruption, or accepting a setback without frustration. Over time, these practices build our capacity for patience, when we demonstrate patience, others take notice. Our ability to remain composed under pressure can serve as an example and provide comfort to those around us. It shows that we value our relationships more than our immediate reactions. The benefits of patience are profound. It enhances our mental health, reduces stress, and leads to better outcomes. Patience allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with a sense of peace and resilience. Ultimately, patience is a reflection of wisdom. It shows an understanding that all things change and that our current struggles will eventually pass. By embodying patience, we become a source of strength and inspiration, making us more valued by others. In essence, patience in adversity is about embracing life's challenges with a calm and steady heart. It's about understanding the transient nature of difficulties and responding with equanimity. By practicing patience, we not only enhance our own well-being, but also become a pillar of support for others. 6. Consistent Reliability The Foundation of Trust Consistent reliability is a principle highly regarded in Buddhist teachings and life at large. It's about being a dependable presence in the lives of others, someone they can count on without hesitation. Reliability is the cornerstone of trust. When we make a commitment, whether it's meeting a deadline or being there for a friend in need, following through on that promise is crucial. It demonstrates our respect for others and our integrity. To be consistently reliable, we must manage our time and resources effectively. It means setting realistic expectations and communicating openly if circumstances change. Over time, this builds a reputation of dependability that others value highly. In relationships, reliability creates a sense of security. Knowing that someone will do as they say, time and time again, lays the groundwork for strong, lasting bonds. It's a testament to the value we place on our connections with others. Life is unpredictable, and there will be times when maintaining reliability is challenging. The key is to be proactive, informing others of potential delays and making amends if we fall short. This transparency is integral to maintaining trust. Being reliable also affects how we view ourselves. It boosts our self-esteem and confidence, knowing that we are individuals of our word. This self-respect, in turn, radiates outward, attracting others who value and seek reliability. Ultimately, consistent reliability is a reflection of mindfulness. It shows a conscious choice to honor our commitments and to prioritize the well-being of others. It's a practice that requires diligence, foresight, and a genuine desire to contribute positively to the lives of those around us. In essence, consistent reliability isn't just about doing what we say we'll do. It's about embodying a quality that others deeply appreciate and respect. It's about being a steady force in an ever-changing world, and through our actions, becoming more valued by those we serve. 7. Wisdom Sharing – The Generosity of Knowledge Wisdom sharing is a key aspect of Buddhist practice, emphasizing the importance of disseminating knowledge and insights that can aid others in their personal growth and understanding. It's about offering what we have learned, not to boast or to preach, but to genuinely assist others on their path. True wisdom sharing is done with humility and without attachment to outcomes. 
It's not about converting others to our way of thinking, but rather offering perspectives that might help them find their own truths. When we share our wisdom, we do so with the hope that it will serve others in some meaningful way. It could be a life lesson, a skill, or an insight into the human condition. This act of sharing can be incredibly empowering for both the giver and the receiver. Incorporating wisdom sharing into daily life can take many forms. It might be through teaching, mentoring, writing, or simply through casual conversations. The key is to be open and available to those who might benefit from our experiences. The ripple effect of shared knowledge is profound. It encourages a culture of learning and growth, where individuals are inspired to pass on what they have learned. This creates a chain of enlightenment that can reach far and wide. The benefits of wisdom sharing are numerous. It enriches our own understanding as we articulate our thoughts, it fosters connections with others, and it contributes to the collective wisdom of our communities. Ultimately, wisdom sharing is a reflection of compassion. It's a recognition that we are all on a journey and that by helping each other, we can all move forward more effectively. It's about using our knowledge to light the way for others. In essence, wisdom sharing is a powerful way to be valued by others. It's about recognizing that our experiences and insights have the power to positively influence the lives of those around us. By generously sharing our wisdom, we not only contribute to the growth of others, but also establish ourselves as valued members of our communities. In conclusion, the seven Buddhist strategies we've explored serve as a guide to becoming more valued by others. They are not just practices but embodiments of a life lived with purpose and compassion. Mindful listening, selfless service, compassionate speech, gratitude in action, patience in adversity, consistent reliability, and wisdom sharing. Each of these principles offers a path to enrich our interactions and deepen our connections. By embracing these strategies, we cultivate qualities that are universally admired and deeply appreciated. They encourage us to look beyond ourselves, to contribute to the well-being of others, and to build relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. In doing so, we not only enhance our own lives, but also become a source of strength and inspiration to those around us. As we integrate these teachings into our daily lives, we become beacons of positivity and kindness. The value we offer to others is reflected back to us, creating a harmonious cycle of giving and receiving. Let us strive to embody these strategies, not just in words but through our actions, and witness the profound impact they can have on our world. Remember, the journey to being more valued is continuous and rewarding. It is a journey of growth, learning, and sharing, and it begins with a single step. Take that step today, and let the wisdom of Buddhism light your way. If you're ready to transform your life and the lives of those around you, subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Share the wisdom, spread the love, and join our community of mindful living. Act now.